Hey guys, I want to warn you about something today. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about religion and how religion breeds contentment for what happened in Orlando, the shootings, and, and contentment toward the LGBT community. I've heard that from, even from Catholic bishops are saying that, and they're all, uh, many of them are agreeing to that point. And they're even saying that even their own Catholicism breeds contentment for LGBT community. You know, I agree with them. What they have is religion. But see, religion is the same thing that caused that guy to go into to the uh, Pulse nightclub and shoot the, the, the innocent people. It was a religion of Islam. See, religion is man-made. Religion is, a, is, is vain in God's sight. It's, it's of man. And pr pure religion, true religion, is not vain. It's not about ourselves, but it's about God. You know, Islam teaches that we, they should kill for Allah. They should die for Allah. And they should protect the prophet. You know, protect his reputation. Christianity teaches that God died for us in the, in the form of his son that hung on a cross and shed his blood and that he gave his life for us and also says that we should give our life for others to help others. You know, that's pure religion and undefiled before God when we love people and when we keep ourselves unspotted from this world. And so when I hear people say religion causes this and religion causes that, I believe it. I believe that religion is the problem today. But Jesus Christ is not religion. He is a relationship. And when you meet Christ and the Spirit of the living God saves you and comes to dwell within you, you're not full of hate. You're not full of bitterness. But yet you're, you're relieved of that hate and that bitterness. You're relieved of your guilt and your sin. And you become joyful and you love. And you want to give that love freely. And then, you know, talking about guns, it's just an opportunity for these people to, to come out against guns. I grew up with guns all my life. I've never had one of my guns jump out of the gun cabinet and attack me. I've been sitting in tree stands. I've never had my gun turn on me and try to kill me. You know, a gun's an inanimate, inanimate object, and it's a powerful thing in the right man's hands, and it's a deadly thing. But, you know, I, I heard also the statement was made that our founding fathers would not agree with assault weapons today, that they wouldn't want that. I think uh, Bishop Lynch said that at, out of Florida. You know, listen, every weapon that our founding fathers had was an assault weapon to them. Every single weapon they had, because they had to fight to get our liberty, our freedom. So don't tell me that they wouldn't want a 30-round clip in AR-15. or they would, They'd have took whatever they could get because they were fighting for their freedom, their life, their liberty in our country. And that Second Amendment means exactly what it says. And any time someone wants to try to take our arms from us, we need to be aware of that. And any time somebody wants to take and mold religion to try to turn it inwardly on Christians, we need to be aware of that. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, I believe it's 1 Timothy, it says, The Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter days some shall depart from the truth, from the faith, and they'll give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. There's a seduction out there to draw Christians away from the faith and say, listen, maybe you shouldn't stand against the LGBT community because of what's happened. Uh, maybe you should accept their sin or maybe you should accept this group. Listen, it's not about accepting a person. It's about their sin. A sinner, not a gay person, not a, a prostitute, a pimp, whatever they are, it's not about their sin. It's just the fact that they're sinners. And without Jesus Christ, they cannot see the kingdom of God. So don't come to me and say, well, your religion does this and your religion does that. Hey, listen, I don't have religion. I have Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. And that love and that boldness that I have is because he's put it in me to tell the truth. Why? Because I love you, because he's given me that love to love you. Jesus wants everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. It's not God's will that any should perish. And every day people are going out in eternity lost because religious people are not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Please share this video because when you share this, you're sharing the gospel. Until next time, let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in His sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer, in Jesus' name, Amen.